Hey everyone, in the news this week, more strict rules out of North Korea. This time it's about pop music the population is allowed to listen to and is probably inspired by the violent arguments back in the day about whether Oasis or Blur were better. I'm imagining something a bit like the mods in the rockers fighting in Brighton Beach, except that the police show up with firearms and Brighton Council is of course not as left-wing as North Korea's communist regime. There's that old expression about a stop clock being right twice a day though, and in this instance North Korea is probably the place that the West should copy for once, because Kim Jong-un does have a point about locking up people that listen to half the rubbish in the charts these days. Moving to the UK, there are apparently calls to ban cocaine users from football grounds following disturbances by fans at the Euro 2020 final. Personally, I'm wondering how many people who've bought cocaine are expected to also be able to afford football tickets. They're pretty expensive. Someone in the news was commenting that the troublemakers were not the brightest sparks, but that's presumably with the exception of the one that I saw bent over with a marine distress flare sticking out of his bottom. He looked pretty bright if you ask me. You could probably see him from about five miles away. Sad news from Germany, with footage of the news showing distraught citizens talking about how they've lost everything. And I initially thought they were still shell-shocked after losing 2 nothing to England a few weeks ago, but in fact this story is about the widespread flooding and the resulting loss of life. As any civil engineer will tell you, if you don't tell water where to go, it will always take the most expensive course of action. And the footage is of course rather harrowing with another reaction maybe being to look at it and think, dam, specifically a hydroelectric dam, if you want to be green. I do have to wonder though how many of Germany's millions of economic migrants are now looking at the mess and considering that maybe living 5 miles from the nearest river did have its occasional advantages. There's also upsetting scenes coming out of South Africa. That place is descending into civil war, although frankly it doesn't look like there's anything civil about it. This is all following prolonged rioting and tensions over Jacob Zuma being handed a 15-month jail sentence after being held in contempt of court. He also faces 16 counts of corruption, racketeering, fraud, money laundering, and telling people that the last season of Game of Thrones was worth waiting for. He is, of course, the former president, so for once you can genuinely say that this situation is, quote, unprecedented. Yeah. I also remember the Olympics starts next week, and that reminds me of the classic South African joke. Roses are red, violets are glorious. Never sneak up an Oscar's Pistorius. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.